I think before 2020, I wasn't aware of like to the extent, you know, things could become violent. Digging in for democracy all over the country, state capitals are starting to lock like military checkpoints. The fear that the presidential transfer of power may not be so peaceful. And that is our big story tonight at 10. Thanks for being with us. Hunkering down at all 50 state capitals, security officials say violent attacks are planned just ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. The heaviest security is in Washington, D.C. tonight, and that's where last Wednesday Trump supporters attempted violent insurrection, ending with five people dead. On Saturday, police stopped one woman for impersonating a police officer. And the area surrounding the Capitol is essentially locked down, flooded with 25,000 guardsmen. The FBI is investigating those troops, worried there could also be an attack from within. There are armed, disturbed people who are in this state of mind where they believe that their country is being taken from them. And so it's a threat law enforcement in the states has to take very seriously. The FBI warning tonight those attacks on state capitals could begin any time between now and President-elect Biden's inauguration. That does not appear to have happened today, as there were only a few small demonstrations across the country that remained largely peaceful. And the same can be said in Madison, where Bill Miston explains the enhanced security is proving to be quite the sight for some visitors. A mild January Sunday afternoon in Madison, the picturesque capital ringed with snow, as well as vehicle barriers, National Guard and police. I've never seen this before. Um, definitely is a little bit concerning. I think before 2020, I wasn't aware of like to the extent, you know, things could become violent. Violence, what officials are concerned about as the FBI warns of armed protests and potential violence ahead of the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden following the takeover of the U.S. Capitol by supporters of President Trump earlier this month. We have uh, had troops that have supported the inauguration in the past, um, you know, certainly maybe not on this scale, but we have had uh, military presence at the inauguration from Wisconsin before. Saturday, 500 National Guard troops boarding flights from Milwaukee to the nation's capital that now looks more like something seen in war-torn countries. In Madison, businesses, local law enforcement, and state leaders not leaving anything to chance. There's lots of rumors going around, and, and uh, clearly we are uh, not overreacting and not certainly not underreacting. A few men seen Sunday, too, carrying rifles, walking around the building. I have faith that hopefully nothing will, will go down. And I'm still wondering what's going to happen, you know, in the following days up, up until uh, the inauguration day. Even amid all the heightened security outside Madison State Capitol, Madison police say a 44-year-old man was able to drive his vehicle up into the platform surrounding the Capitol early Sunday morning. He was arrested a short distance away for a third OWI offense. In Madison, Bill Mystic, Fox 6 News.